Red Bull are flying at the moment. Going into the summer break, they're as good as 100 points ahead in the Constructors' Championship. In the Drivers' Championship, Max Verstappen has an 80-point lead and isn't showing any signs of slowing down. But is everything as amazing as it seems? Or are their recent results showing some cracks? Want to know what might be going wrong for Red Bull? Then stick around for the rest of the video. Despite their massive lead in both championships, team boss Christian Horner is refusing to get carried away. Red Bull are taking nothing for granted in the race for this year's world titles, stating that there's still a lot of racing to go. After the Hungarian Grand Prix, Red Bull and Max Verstappen hold commanding leads in the constructors' and drivers' standings. While the Milton Keynes-based team have stretched out a 97-point advantage over Ferrari, Verstappen now sits 80 points clear of Charles Leclerc. However, Horner remains wary of both the Scuderia and the recovering Mercedes over the remaining nine rounds of the season. Speaking to the media, Horner commented, The points tables look healthy and it's a great way to sign off going into the summer break, but there's still a lot of racing to go. Ferrari are quick and Mercedes are coming back into the game. There's still a long, long way to go in this championship, plus a sprint race, so we don't take anything for granted. There's still a lot of racing to do and at very different venues. Horner might be trying to temper expectations, but fans and the media seem pretty convinced they won't lose from here. There are some signs that Horner is right to try and reduce expectations in the team. For the first 10 races this season, Sergio Perez has enjoyed the best season of his career. He had six podiums during that period and could have had a seventh if the Red Bull engine hadn't blown up in both cars in the last few laps at the season opener in Bahrain. The highlight of this season so far has definitely been the win at the iconic Monaco Grand Prix. Perez drove with confidence and control, making the most of a Ferrari mistake, and driving the race from the front as if he'd been there all season. Recently, though, there have been rumblings of trouble in the Red Bull garage. Perez's form from earlier in the season has started to drop off, and the team's management are worried. Red Bull advisor Helmut Marco blasted Sergio Perez for his performance during the French Grand Prix. The Mexican seemed off the pace throughout the weekend as teammate Max Verstappen cruised to victory after Charles Leclerc crashed out. Perez was struggling to fend off George Russell for the final podium spot, but was doing a good job until a virtual safety car was deployed. Russell secured the podium finish by producing a nifty move on Perez following the end of the virtual safety car. The 24-year-old appeared to be backing off the Red Bull just as the period was ending, but he then accelerated quickly and appeared to catch Perez napping as he was able to overtake him on the inside. Though Perez came back at Russell, the Briton held on to third place until the flag, prompting Marco to voice his displeasure at Perez losing the position. It is very unfortunate that Checo was asleep at the restart, the Austrian told the media. A certain third place was lost there. Marco has been unusually complimentary of Checo's performances this season, but France seemed to be a turning point. Earlier in July, ahead of the Austrian Grand Prix, Checo had told the media that he felt the car was starting to develop away from his personal style. After driving the RB16B that was far from his liking in 2021, Perez immediately clicked better with the RB18, as he better suited the car characteristics that the new generation of cars produced. His Monaco win, the third F1 triumph of his 12-year career, was soon followed by the announcement of a two-year deal with Red Bull until the end of 2024. But ahead of the Austrian Grand Prix, he said, I haven't been as comfortable with it, the development of the car, as I was in the beginning. Let's put it that way. I think I've got some work to do to understand what's going on and hopefully have a more straightforward weekend here in Austria. At the start of the season, he was matching Verstappen's pace during qualifying, and the two were pushing each other to greater and greater heights. At Silverstone, the week before the Austrian Grand Prix, Perez claimed fourth on the grid and was six tenths adrift of teammate Verstappen. Two weeks before that, in Montreal, he was off the pace of Verstappen as well, but his race was ruined by a gearbox failure which masked the deficit. Well, it's just got away from me in terms of how comfortable I was in the beginning, Perez confirmed. But saying that, I've had only two races of this, and last weekend I wasn't up to it. I was feeling pretty bad, so I think this is the first weekend where I will see really. The opinion of many people, including us, is that recent updates have brought a sharper front end to the RB18 something that should increase the performance ceiling of the car but isn't necessarily to Perez's liking. Max loves the car with a very sharp front end as he can dive into corners and use his natural skills to control the car. Perez prefers a more balanced car so he can use his racecraft and experience to make the most of his opponent's mistakes. 
Red Bull's chief engineer has dismissed the idea that the team has taken any deliberate steps to make their car less comfortable for Sergio Perez, branding such a move as foolish. Perez was talked about as a title contender after winning the Monaco Grand Prix, but since then, things haven't gone his way. Red Bull chief engineer Paul Monaghan was asked about Perez's comments about the car being developed to suit Max's style more than his own. He said, I'm not aware that we have made a deliberate step to make the car less to his liking. It's not easy to make cars go faster, shall we say. And within a fairly constricted set of technical regulations and freedoms, if you find a way to put a bit more pace on, you'll often take it if it's within your financial limitations to apply it. He went on to say that even if the car has changed characteristics throughout the season, it is Checo's job to adapt to the changes, not the team's job to make the car to his preference. Now, it may be that in deploying the tools, it's been easier for Max to adopt them. Maybe his setup has suited a bit more than Checo. But it's not as if the car is fixed in terms of its parameters, and Checo can't then revise the setup to say it's to his liking again. And it would be foolish for us to not then try and give Checo a method to get more out of it. We're in the race with both titles, and we need both cars ideally ahead of the Ferraris and the Mercedes, so we'll do everything we can to put the two of them there. In the past, Red Bull have not been afraid to get rid of a driver that isn't living up to their expectations. Pierre Gasly suffered from this in recent years when he was dropped after just 12 races in 2019. Sergio Perez has been Max's best teammate during the Dutchman's time at the team though, and Red Bull aren't in a rush to try other options as they have in the past. With questions being asked of Checo's recent performances, Christian Horner has come out in support of the Mexican driver and has said that the team want to work with him to improve in the second half of the season. Speaking during the Hungarian Grand Prix weekend, Horner said he has had discussions with Perez to try to get to the bottom of the Mexican struggles. I think we just need to find a setup that gives him that confidence, Horner told the media. I had dinner with him to talk through where, over the last couple of races, has it not quite been there for him. He's very clear what he wants from the car, and I think hopefully we can help him achieve that. And then he'll start to come back into play. Hopefully, there's a few things in the pipeline that might help him. The 32-year-old is now in his 12th season in Formula 1 and will know exactly what is expected of him. He's seen Red Bull drivers come and go with frightening speed when they don't perform. He's been in the form of his career this season and won't want to see his two-year contract with Red Bull ripped up because the car is getting away from him. The pressure is now on Checo to get the RB18 working for him and to help guide the team in how he needs it set up and what he needs to compete with Max again. Do you think Checo has what it takes to get the RB18 working for him again? Or is it going to be the same old story with Red Bull and Max Verstappen's teammates? Let us know how you think Checo's season is going to go in the comments down below. And until next time, drive safe and bye-bye.